Here now is more Senator Kent Conrad, chairman of the Budget Committee. Uh, good morning, Senator. Do you have a cell phone on you? Uh, I do. All right. So you you should. Do you know exactly where things stand right now? Can you tell us? Because we we got the wire services saying that the money is agreed on, uh, but it's just birth control issues that are left. And then I had a, we got a Republican aide saying the money issues aren't settled. Do you have the the you, right now at this point in time? Do you know where we are? Well, I've not been in the room, so I can't testify directly. Uh, but here's what I understand. Remember that we started with Republicans wanting to cut the president's request for this year by $100 billion. They have agreed on $73 billion or very close to that. There is still, as I understand it, some difference on the composition, how much should be out of discretionary, how much out of mandatory, but very minor differences in that regard. Uh, what appears to be the biggest sticking point uh, is a question of abortion, funding of Planned Parenthood, and curiously enough, uh, the issue of mountaintop mining uh, that got introduced at the 11th hour by Republicans on the House side. So, uh, you know, curiouser and curiouser. I, I, I've got a lot of mail uh, about that because if you call it birth control, it's one thing. But what the, the people that are opposed to the Planned Parenthood funding, I guess, and we were just talking about Becky and I, that money is fungible. So we know that the 330 what is it, million, million dollars. It doesn't go to, to paying for abortions, but it goes to, I guess the, they Excellent. would say it, that it goes to recommending an abortion, which is then funded privately uh, at 40% of the facility. So you, you can get one, it's funded privately, so you got government money saying, here, we can do it, and you got private money ready to go with it. So that's just different than birth control. So I kind of see the point there, but I, I'm just not sure why we're back to we're not really talking about the abortion issue. We're talking about the federal funding of abortion, which is still illegal, right? Yeah, look, uh, with the Hyde Amendment, uh, federal funding of abortion is prohibited. And the structure of funding to Planned Parenthood assures people in a legal way that there is no federal funding of abortion, something that I've long supported. Uh, so there is no federal funding of abortion. It's illegal. But, but uh, quite, quite apart from that issue, yeah. look, <laughs> what are we talking about that on a spending bill uh, that needs to be resolved to prevent the shutdown of the federal why, government? Why are we Those, talking the, about uh, the last six months of 2011 and they say it's clipping the toenail of an elephant when we, should, we need to be talking about 2012? So, I mean, it, it, people out yeah. in the country got to be at this point, Senator, going... You know, just so frustrated watching this, uh, this play out. Well, let me just say, some of us here are as frustrated as they are, perhaps even more so. As you know, I've worked for three years to have a commission come back with recommendations on a 10-year agreement to reduce the debt $4 trillion. That's the range of what's needed uh, to get our country back on track. That's where we ought to be spending our time and energy rather than trivial differences in terms of several billions of dollars when we need to be talking about trillions of dollars to get this country in a stronger position going forward. Yeah, see what, I, I, I see, see what you're saying. I've seen some comments. Uh, it, it was, I don't know if it's representative, uh, Senator, it was on the Huffington Post, some writer, that, that, that says that you are now the, a, a stage uh, supporter of, of anything against Ryan's um, proposal, that they've got you on a moderate Democrat now, are on the side of people that think that's DOA. Anything to do with Paul Ryan's proposal is DOA. Is that where you are? No. Look, uh, what Paul Ryan has got right is that we need a package of about $4 trillion of debt reduction. What I think he has wrong is there's no balance to his proposal. Uh, the first thing he does is cut on the revenue side another $1.8 trillion. So he digs the hole much deeper be start, before he starts filling it in. That's not balanced. That has no prospect of passing. As a result, the cuts that he proposes are too deep. They're draconian. $2 trillion out of the health care accounts, that just goes too far. Look, we need a balanced plan, one that does take on the entitlements, one that does cut spending, and one that does provide for tax reform to generate additional revenue and to be able to lower rates to make America more competitive. That's what the Fiscal Commission proposed. That's what I think 
at the end of the day will have to be done to get America back on track. Senator, I know that you are a member of the Gang of Six, and there are many hopes being pinned on this group, this bipartisan group of senators trying to work out some sort of a compromise. Can you tell us where things stand with the group of six, the Gang of Six, and, and, and whether we can count on something happening between now and 2012? <laughs> Uh, I certainly hope so. Look, I, I've, I've spent three years on this e effort, first to get a commission, then served on the commission, uh, served uh, in the majority that agreed to the report of the commission to save $4 trillion, and now a part of this group of six, three Democrats, three Republicans, trying to implement the commission's recommendations. Uh, we've agreed not to reveal where we are in negotiations, uh, but I can tell you we work every day night before last, we worked uh, into the night. Uh, we worked into the night last night. And we continue to try to pull together a package that can enjoy bipartisan support, which is what's required in order to actually get something done in this town. Do, do, you, do you have high hopes? I mean, if you have to put some sort of measurement on how good you feel about where these things are headed. Obviously, you've spent so much time on this and pulling this together. Uh, well, I'm Scandinavian, so I'm always an optimist. You know, uh, well, you never. What are you trying? It's always dark there. It's always nighttime. That's right. You have to be an all, optimist to live all there. All people do is do the tango there and drink alcohol. So what are you talking about, Sam? You no opti. No, no, you that's, got that's seasonal Finland. affective disorder. It's it's nighttime <laughs> for 18 months a year. <laughs> Joe, Joe, that's Finland. Oh, I'm that's from it. Denmark, Sweden, Norway. <laughs> oh, those are happy Sweden. countries. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it now. All right. <laughs> Senator, thank you. Oh, that's you. No, no, that's all right. I, yeah, we do appreciate it, Senator. Thanks. And uh, we're going to, you're not going to be around, you'll be around long enough to do the 2012 thing with us, right? You'll come on about, I mean, that's what we need. We need to start talking about that, right? Joe, I, you know, what is so important is that we get on to what really has to be done. Let's get off uh, these minor differences that aren't going to make uh, any significant difference when we're talking about a $15 trillion debt. Let's get serious and deal with that. That's where we ought to be spending our time and attention. All right, great. Thank you. Appreciate it, Senator. Okay.